At the start of 2015, at the University of Technology, Sydney, one student and two professors met and had a discussion. They contemplated the possibility of taking a video game that was widely popular and then modifying it to communicate ideas surrounding social interaction. With two semesters to work with, the challenge was accepted. The Elder Scrolls Skyrim, a popular fantasy role-playing game, was selected as the most suitable piece of software for the project. Using Skyrim and its universe, a story, quest, characters and dialogues were created. They were designed and written with the intention that they might just compel the player to consider the intricacies of the way we, as humans, communicate. This video will walk you through some of the concepts and mechanisms that were existing, modified and added to attempt to transform Skyrim into a social simulator. Our first concept is the story, the quest set before the player. For what is a fantasy adventure without a good story? Our story takes place on a ship. The player and a companion awake locked within an iron cage, held captive by a group of freebooting pirates. In Skyrim, it would not be uncommon for the player to react to such a situation with blunt and brutal methods to lockpick their way out, reach for the closest thing that resembles a weapon, hack their way through opposition, and then swim to the shore. But in our quest, particular effort has been made to make this path infeasible. In this story, the player must use their wit and charisma as their weapon persuading the crew to inadvertently participate in a grand escape. How does one communicate in Skyrim? It's through a common gameplay concept known as branching dialogue trees. In Skyrim, when the player approaches a character in the game, they are presented with a finite list of things they can say to either initiate or respond to conversation. The idea is that just like a tree, each option the player can choose from will sprout off like a branch. That branch in turn will lead to more subsequent branches. When modifying Skyrim to act as a social simulator, it was important that the dialogues we wrote had numerous branches. The more options we could provide to the player to choose from, the more accurately our game could simulate how players might approach conversations in reality. And it wouldn't be a social simulator if these options and conversations the player could select from could potentially result in both positive A pleasure to meet your friend. It is rare and refreshing to meet someone new when you spend your life at sea. And negative outcomes. Strange to you, perhaps. I'm a Bosmer, or in common tongue, Wood Elf. It was also important that there were dialogue options that could divert the conversation into an entirely new topic. Conversations that might reveal more about his character's personality. I often think about my brother whilst out at sea. Back home, when we were children, we would explore the forest surrounding our home. We would pretend we were warriors in a battle, throwing rocks and climbing trees. Ah, these are some of my happiest memories. Information that might just be important to consider in future conversations the player had with that character. The way we communicate as humans is an intricate dance. It's more than just the words we choose to say. It's an amalgamation of many different verbal and nonverbal messages. Without a doubt, the words that we use to vocalize ourselves are important, but so is the presentation or delivery attached to it. We might frown to indicate confusion, or raise our voice to express passion, or lower our posture to indicate intimidation. I kind of wish I didn't come to school today. These cues express our feeling, our attitude. Capturing something as complex and subjective as this within a video game can be difficult. But within Skyrim, it was not completely impossible. When writing our scripts, we ensured that important lines of dialogue had an emotion attached to them and that they were delivered by a cast of talented voice actors. 
These intonations could express positive. May you walk on warm sands, friend. Negative. I am Khajiit. Have you ever heard of the ancient cities of elsewhere where the sun shines always? Clearly, you have not. Or even neutral reactions. Additionally, in Skyrim, when characters are delivering dialogue, they can project one of eight facial expressions. Neutrality. Anger. Fear. Happiness. Sadness. Surprise. Confusion. Or disgust. It was important to provide multiple ways for the player to gauge how well they were interacting throughout our quest. To give the player feedback. The most obvious of these is our previously discussed mechanic. How characters appear to emotionally react and respond to the player. If that isn't quite clear enough, the player has the option to activate guided mode. In this mode, every time the player selects a dialogue option that results in an emotional response, a textual description will appear in the corner of the screen. It reads as a first-person narrative of how that character appears to have reacted. Arguably, in my opinion, the most important mechanism is the pedagogical agent, or in layman's terms, the coach. Hey, that's me. Throughout the story, the player will have frequent interactions with my character. Aside from being a key orchestrator in our escape plan, I will also provide advice and encouragement to the player as to how they might approach conversations with our captors and earn their trust. The way to do that is to jam or rip with them, man. What I mean by this is you talk to each other about things that might interest them, yourself, or in the best case, the both of you. I can also offer feedback on how they are going, in a general sense, but also specifically highlighting things they did well. One of the most important things you did was waiting for the right time to ask Dakota for the blankets. Or, quite frankly, should avoid entirely in the future. Some people might respond well to my lady, but I'm thinking most people will find it quite odd. I think you should reserve that line for when you know someone a little more intimately, or when speaking to a princess. Social interaction can be quite complex. There are these subtleties, intricacies, and nuances. Perhaps these aspects are so subtle that those of us who have practiced it throughout our waking life forget that they even exist. They become intuitive, natural. Typically, when we initiate conversation, it begins with a greeting. When we terminate the conversation, we use a farewell of some form. Characters in our game expect the same courtesy you'd extend to your fellow humans. Hello, my name is Heidi Rogstad. Pleased to meet you. So long. And respond accordingly when it is not. Hey, we were talking. When we interact with people, we also form relationships, whether we intend to or not. It's almost this fusion of impressions, experiences, and emotions attached to each of the people we've met. Our characters in Skyrim are not this deep and complex. However, they each have some sort of sentiment attached to the player. The sentiment each character holds toward the player can increase or decrease based on dialogue selections and actions the player chooses to perform. As a result, the way the character appears to receive the player will change over time. I'm cooking at the moment. Hello again. Good to see you. They will respond to the player's presence differently. And when the time comes when the player calls upon their aid, how the character feels about them at that moment will determine the extent in which they're willing to help them out. I can only think of one reason why you might want that information. Relax. Your secret is safe with me. You'll find the two dinges on the deck. One at either side of the ship. The release mechanism is locked, so you'll need this key, which you didn't get from me. I wish you fair winds and following seas, my friend. Must be deposed. The covenant made can be. Bought.
take his crown. They plead for their king and they pity their 